afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to an exciting, everything, and amazing propaganda course with me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda here, like defender of the fatherland, the one and only. Off here to a 1v1. Oh, you guess it, it is Taranto Coastline, the north stands havoc, agent of the German army in this case. Taking on the role of the 90th Panzer Grenadier Division, upgraded from the 90th Light Infantry Division. In the south stands Prabuti, fighting for America, freedom, democracy, the first armed division. Able Company, tasked with crushing the Germans here, so Pan can advance onwards towards Rome. We got a Jeep start here with arm, of course, battle group being the choice here for Prabuti. We got Mr. Havoc, though, with no battle group choice yet, we do have a double Panzer Grenade start here. Thumbs up to that. No Panzer Pew and Heavy builds here from him. And there's always a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters, who keeps the public accounts running through thick and thin with their generous patron support. So, big hearty thanks to all those and a small round of applause. Clap, clap. So, Panzer Pionier uh, heading southwards here, others heading northwards alongside the Panzer Pionier as they breach the northern front. Prabuti in the south, racing ahead here with his jeep, right into the Panzers here by the southern fuel point here by the cliffs. A few shots here, but going to have to grab the fuel point before the Panzers can do, I think, any significant damage here to the jeep. The 30 cal is just rattling off there against those Germans. Engineers backing off, in fact, we got very early Engineers as well here for Pra booty that's a bit of an interesting choice you don't typically see a lot of fast engineers nowadays they used to be a bit more popular but uh, kind of dropped off but they are here with their m3 grease gun the replacement site machine gun for the thompson in part because the thompson was heavy and fairly expensive to make and also a bit uncontrollable in terms of its rate of fire and here we got having now with a 250 half tack to support the punter gun the Going hard on the mechanization here pretty rapidly. Panzer will go out in the north here. Further north here, Panzer Pioneer there moving about. And in the northwest here, Scouts are busy just gobbling up territory. We've got the news linking up with the Jeep, but there's Panzer because they're ready to pump a few holes into there. Go right there through the southern rearmor of the Jeep, causing a fair bit of damage here. We do have Ralph going on right here for Prabuti and the first armor division. Panzer going dealing push back. Engineers rolling off with the mid quite aggressively. 250 half tack on the way here. Hans going there, falling back, rushing forwards here. Moving ahead still here with the 250-1. Like to Schutzen Panzerwagen. He's been caught out and they have a ripped apart there. Carl already drops dead. Hans there, of course, with a combined arms bonus. Our fairly familiar troops here. To deal with for Prabhuti, not on the Panther, of course, gets access. We've got the half to rushing in here, forcing the men to vault over or risk, I don't know, getting shoved about. The Panther Pina pulling to the half track, though. Quickly turn the tables on the Rav Squad. What will Prabhuti here? will run to the building, the villa, or will he just stand his ground here? And then getting flanked by the Panther News here, then which couldn't. Yeah, he's going to have to retreat here. The situation was just not working out for Prabhuti, and Prabhuti makes the wiser decision to retreat. There you go, flame pulls up. Three men immediately burst into flames as though they douse their clothes in stolen Italian alcohol and who knows they might have in fact there's a good chance here that Havoc's going to score wife in the trading right near really punishing Havoc of oh, Prabuti in the early game here down to one man his ass is on fire it is literally yes he died from you know just burning out there in particular in the ass. Ralph's got pushing for the 250 after getting with flame force we got an ambulance here if not cancels it for assault grenadiers Aggressive. This is the MP40s. We got the Jeep rushing out for the 250 half tech. Of course, have a look to get out of there. Got the point of secure, but that's a pretty brutal start here for Prabuti. But in the first five minutes of the game, there he has suffered a total wipe. He already on one of his infantry squads here. That was well, hit one of his two infantry squads. That so, this definitely means here there's a good chance out here that Abbott's going to get a really strong early game advantage now. In particular, once those assault gun is hit, that's going to be a fairly tough challenge here. Up north, though, his scouts have managed to successfully hit the northern fuel point, slowing down here. Havoc's ascent into faster and more vehicles and armor here. Good move there by Prabuti. Also, in the same in the south, even got mines on the fuel point. We got the assault guns ready with MP40s and a lot of grenades. The Stielerhand Granate. Far up north here, the Panzers are giving their scouts their good beating up close here. Send them scurrying off there, back towards the base if they get there. Jeep rushing northwards here. Assault Gundy is backed up. The Panzer Pioneer and a half to there. Go for the Ralph Squad. Prabhuti retreats. 
as rapidly as his men's feet can carry them. Got the captain here out as well for Prabhupada signaling in the infantry center. 250 after rushing in there. Sultan's ground the point back here. Oh, Havoc Spacey. Deep could be next. It's a fairly aggressive route here for him. But we do have the motor pool being rushed out here for Prabhuti. An M8 Greyhound right now could perhaps turn the tide here against Havoc and the German army. And what is this? Mines is going for some pretty aggressive mine ending. And we got an MG-34 now. Deep here as the Panzer Grenadier in the south. And Guinea is pulling forwards here. Done with several mines here by the southern road. By the southern fuel point. Sulk is pushing forwards there. The MP-40 is final. And Guinea's MG-34 almost done. Of course, German troops in the Italian theatre would also be likely equipped with Italian submachine guns, most likely the M38 Barretta, or is there more wartime versions, which are still really excellent submachine guns, just not nearly of as high quality as the original M38 Barretta, but there was also like other machine guns they sort of been made throughout the war, like the NFA B43 or FNAB 43, which is basically an abbreviation for a Blitzer Nationale something. Can't remember the other parts there, but that was one submachine gun. And then towards the very end of the war, I think they made sort of another submachine gun. Very small numbers there. Grenade off here in the rifleman. Oh, quite a few casualties there. Not as many as you could have hoped for with such a grenade assault, but certainly enough here to leave Prabudi's men there quite wounded and certainly fearful of like any potential rushes with a flamethrower. Greyhound that has arrived here. A big boost here for Prabudi's morale. As Havoc has no anti tank weapons, no grenades. But he does call in the Panzer is pretty snappy here versus Prabhuti in the face of his M8 Greyhound armored car. 250 after track, desperately trying to bait it into the mine and survive an encounter with Prabhuti's armed reconnaissance. It does not work out. Leaving Hammock now. 250 half track less, but there you go. Well, not quite half track less. It does have the other one. But the Greyhound hits the mine here now. is an opportunity for Havoc to hunt down the Greyhound and avenge his lost half track there. Meanwhile, the gunner briefly T poses as he tries to figure out what the hell is going on. Apparently, US Army manuals back then said, Evan Doubt T pose. Well, yeah, they didn't actually. Just in case someone writes down their history in a report or something there in school. I don't want to get blamed for that one. And there you go, going for the Panzer There we go, almost got the Greyhound. Can Prabhuti salvage his Greyhound? Yes, he does force back the 25th chapter. The Panzer do not pop out. And Havoc just withdraws rather than try to make the attempt to finish off the Greyhound. The engine certainly looking like uh, nothing safe to work on, that's for sure. Panzer's going to Panzer Gunnier and Sultan is with the Rav's here. Lone health. Definitely need to get those healed up. And ambulance right now. Or getting them over to the 25th chapter for healing, I think, be very smart. There you go. Tactical assault here, leaving several riflemen dead in the dirt road there. And up north, machine being swapped with the scouts. Riflemen there, cat moving in here. Prabhu or Havoc being doing quite a good job. They're hitting Prabhuti's field points in the west here. Thumbs up. Ambulance for Havoc and the 90th Panzer Gunnady be shown. First Panzer Gunnady company. <clears throat> Fixing up the Greyhound there. So how they're going to put out the engine with the blow torches, no one knows. And we got armor support here with the superior fire drills upgrade chosen there for Havoc. Got the two fit being fixed up, healing up the nearby troops as well. Nice uh, multitasking here. Ambulance ready. And we got fire support elements. Oh my. Could see a flag feeling here. Or it could be that Havoc actually intends to rush out for Panzer Threes. I'd love to see that. Meanwhile, up north here, Greyhound there being forced back here by the Panzer Eggers with their Panzer Buxer. Two fifths getting out there in the south here. Assault is pushing for the missions point right outside Prabhuti's base here. Bullying Prabhuti off there. Greyhound the rushing in a deal with the Germans as they push further closer towards Prabhuti's base. More crucially, his calf points here. Panzer Jäger's moving about. They could assist here. Assault is just grabbing that point here. Greyhound pulling in. Up north, Assault is moving in to cause a bit of a mess there. Could pop a smoke grenade here, I suppose. Captain nearby. And far up north, the Jeep. Creeping it up there on the northern fuel point, ready to mess with Havoc's fuel supply once more. Machine guns being hauled up here, smoke grenade off. Second Greyhound for Prabhuti. Good golly. So, as possibly he's either going for the flak feeling or again going for like bigger stuff. Prabhuti is going for double Greyhounds here in the northern fuel point. Scouts there. 
being met with volumes of MG34 far here. Could see a wipe here. Could see a wipe. And he goes down. Small win there for Havoc. Almost got the captain as well. Down to two points of health, but somehow survives. Panzerzeek is now left to cover here the retreat of the Assault Gunners as the Greyhounds close in like a pair of predators on the prowl. Panzerzeek is sticking with the camp, but they're being swarmed. He down to two. One man. They're being absolutely devoured by the Greyhounds. And down they go. Brutal kill here from the Greyhounds. Brutal kill. Fun fact. German Greyhound means, means Windhund. And in fact, the 1 and 16th Panzer Division was known as the Windhund Division or Greyhound Division. Ready. Sort of a fun side note there. Up north here, Panzer Pushing Forces do have the MG34 for the Panzer Gunner. And they have actually been upgraded here with the Veteran Squad Leaders, which doesn't just benefit the Panzer Gunners directly with another guy, but also makes the other squads a little bit tough and gain experience fast. Of course, the Panzer Gunners also benefit from it. It's a pretty good upgrade if you're going to go for like any amount of infantry, particular Panzer Gunners, but like, you know, say they're going for a bunch of Assault Gunners, it helps there too. So, all the way though, pressure here on Havoc there. Is back on here for Prabuti with the arrival of the double greyhound. Southern Point being seized back here by Prabuti. North Rav we've got BARs up there as well here. I mean, if Havoc can push for the Panzer Fiend now, that would be, I think, a really good time to do so soon because Prabuti is going to be certainly a bit exposed here to a well handled Panzer Fiend. Rav Squad being met by the MU34, and of course, Hands gunners and assault gunners here. A lot of fire there. Surprisingly, they're taking end up taking limited. Oh, no mind. Spoke too soon. So, now they're suddenly dying a lot. Greyhound the racing in here. Do we have any grenades research? See if we do not. We do have more machine guns, but crucially, right now, Havoc has no anti-tank weapons. Like he has no way of defending himself against these greyhounds. He is pushing for the Panzer Army Command, and he's actually not too far away from the Panzer Feed, but. I think if Prabudi realizes what Havoc's like currently doing and what he currently is not doing, of course, he could actually like look really hard. Oh no, he has research grenades now. He has researched them. Apparently, he had researched them all along. He just did a munition for it all the way though. That does help Havoc a bit, obviously. He's about to lose his pen to the Greyhounds and the Jeep and the PAR wielding riflemen. That's going to be a great kill here though for Prabudi wiping out one of the Pentagon squads. Definitely a bit of a tough loss here. For the Germans, a bit of engines for the casualties. He suffered all this, and he's about to get wiped out here as well. Panzer's right up here. The Greyhounds just continue to be an absolute force here to reckon with. But now, the Panzer Command commander's up. He has the fuel. He just needs a bit of manpower. And suddenly, Prabuti is going to be in for a world of hurt as he does not have any, like, any immediate anti tank on the field. Of course, he can go for anti tank guns out of the motor pool. North Heat Greyhound right in the MG4. Jeep following in here, exploding the gap now created by the Greyhound. Panther Fee there is moments away here. Note he's even cancelled or uh, uh, halted the altering force to make sure he can get out that Panther Fee as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Prabuti's just grabbing as much as he can here from under Havoc's nose. Thumbs up to that. But now the Panther Fee is on the way and things are about to get a lot less pleasant for Prabuti. At least, assume it's less pleasant. Flam Panzer Fee here. Don't think he's going to go for that. He could go for it. At least try for it, though. I don't think it would do too much short term. Anyways, in the south here, Greyhound being repaired. Other Greyhound pulling back for repairs. For Prabuti, we got three Ralph Scorps, the Captain, and the Jeep. And of course, a mortar here. Thumbs up to the mortar. Nice addition there. And now we got the Panzer V ready here for Havoc. The Panzer Kampfwagen 3 Ausführung L. This higher velocity 50mm gun. And multiple machine guns. Great shot in the Greyhound, though. Right through the rear armor. Not that it really would hit matter, but hit with it. Almost got it. One more shot, and that Greyhound is gonna be a dead hound. And there you go. Greyhound kaput. Shattered him because he the Panther Feet for just from wrecking that veteran Greyhound almost veterans one. And there we go. Bad news for Prabuti. I can imagine he's got the map. He's going to pop that anti tank gun button because if he doesn't, that Panther Feet is going to absolutely demolish him. 
Panzer Punia bagged up the Panzer 3 here, going for an Orbit Victor Point. Jeet also, of course, looking to get out of there before it gets busted by the Panzer 3 here. For now, Havoc needs to get more victory points, he's get back more the map. And if Fossil Bullet would also benefit and get up that machine gun upgrade to the Panda 3 Model L. The first mass produced model to feature the high velocity fit in the gun. There were like some upgraded model Gs that also featured it, but it was really in the Model L that sort of really starts like you really put into like production larger numbers. And we got a mechanized assault group out here for Havoc now, adding in some more assault troops here versus Prabuti looking to hit up more infantry, just get more in the offensive versus the Americans. Not a bad idea, I mean he's still some far away, time away from a Panzer III anyways, particularly fuel wise. Captain Rav squad here, close to his own base, popping out that assault gun it is. North here, Panzer 3 getting slightly repaired, but probably should try to get it down here to assist. 250 time effect suffering, intense damage, assault guns pushing in. Deep here ready, anti tank being hold forwards here by Prabuti. Mines here from Prabuti as well, Prabuti as well very good. Panzer 3 now ready, moving in here. As soon as Prabuti sees the arrival of the Panzer 3, he decides he's got better places to be with this captain. Apparently not with this grand, or maybe he's using it as bait here. For the anti-tank gun. Seems to sort of work there. Though of course it only works really once. And then Hamburg calls will start to get a bit more cautious about pursuing it. But there you go. Anti-tank grenade on the Panzer III. Blowing out the engine. And keeping the Panzer III from doing too much here. Versus Prabuti any time in the future. Might even give his anti-tank crew their chance to finish it off here. The box is here. So nice setup there by Prabuti. Thumbs up. They'll need to grab some of these northern points. I mean, the fires can get back the northern fuel, but the better. Mine's exploding. Got the assault guns with the raft squad here. Port on them versus tactical assault. Returning ability from Company Heroes 2. Though without the received accuracy, the buff did just move slower while having increased accuracy. So basically a more powerful version of plus you get an assault gun is which didn't have it in company is too it was rather on the stormtroopers and the US paratroopers. Almost got the ground here with the Panzer III close to Vecchi 2 there you go great shot from the M1 and they're straight for the front line and there you go grenade off on the Panzer III here it's gonna blow out the engine again and there we go Havoc once more with a heavily damaged Panzer III there. Surprised the engine is still capable of going considering all the damage it suffered. But there's another Panther in the way here. Havoc, of course, will be building up his armored forces here versus Prabuti and the Americans of the first armored. And there you go, we got a tank depot up here. It's armored. He could try and hold up for these here, but Prabuti just wants Sherman's out. In some regards, it kind of makes sense. Like, just a lot of the benefits of the ECD is just, you know, more penetration and the Panther feet. You don't really need more penetration on that one. Of course, there's still the better anti performance. The greater speed, and for that, it's more health, but against Pantafisa, there's certain, a certain logic to you for Prabhuti just going for numbers. It might also be he just doesn't have the command points yet for an EC8. Up north, here, another push is going to need some Pantafisa support here to rebuff Prabhuti's assault there. We got 296 to 411. Pantafisa rushing up here from the north road. Good benefit from the machine give air there on the Pantafisa, of course. The additional ones, cap retreats. There is two medium tanks here versus one Greyhound and an Antantanga. Maybe two by now. Maybe two. Is the answer to that is no, just one. And looks like the Jeep might finally go down here to Havoc and the German Army. There you go. The Jeep crew gets sent flying there across the center fields here. Rifling bombarded here with MP40 and machine gun fire here. Havoc's Panzers there pushing through the center, crashing through the terrain, wrecking trucks and foliage alike, as if though they were nothing. Arrived right, meanwhile getting plastered with machine gun at 50 mm gun, high explosive shell fire. Good shot from the entertainer there, straight for the Panther 3's front armor. 
the Model L, I believe, had roughly 50 millimeters of frontal armor, non-sloped, so not the most super effective against an M1 anti-tank gun. Later models like the Model M would, I think, roughly get up to 70 millimeters with some spaced armor as well. So a little fun fact there. Sherman, though, is ready here for me. I believe we that could. Let's finish the grey above, actually. All the way, the racing ahead here. More mines going off here. Good mining by Prabuti. Thumbs up. Green there is the Pantafees. The Pantafee by the way here. Vetchancy 2. Which does open up for increased abilities there. Meanwhile, up north, slow approach here from Havoc. We can see Prabuti is kind of attacking the twin from the squads here. And Prabuti doesn't really have a lot to resist. And he could try and turn them on his Pantafees. But so far, no sign of that. Victory point lost. And we do also, by the way, have the emergency repair kits locked here for Havoc. So it's tanks to repair themselves. They also do get a bit tougher. Which is obviously very beneficial, in particular against Shermans. Sherman heading north of T. Catinson's going off there. Panther fleet is almost fixed up. Could commit it. In fact, right now I feel like Prabuti's making a bit of risk a mistake. I mean, theoretically, Hamlet could rush down the Sherman here with his two Panther fleets, possibly knock it out. Though he's trying to get his anti tank up close to support it. And we see another anti tank gun there. So he's starting to realize at least with just one tank in the field, he is quite vulnerable to the two Panther fleets. And needs to support his Sherman properly here or risk, you know, losing it to a Panther fleet swarm here. He can go for the third one soon. He could also go for the Command Panther fall here. Over to C. And it's an F. I'd like to say that's more of a D model Panther 4 or model. Last going my body here with a Panther 3. Lost a machine gun crew in the Safi to the Greyhound. Good kill here by Prabuti. Back at base. Not much going on except you're shooting forwards. 246. But they're going to be pursued by the soldiers. Got the shell on the flank here, though. Going for the anti tank guns here, prioritizing them in the Sherman. Bit risky, but at the same time, clears up both anti tank guns. Oh, he's going to get the mortar crew as well here. Got it, brutal. But can he grab? I mean, could he blow smokes and then run off the mortar? Up north here, Panther going for the Sherman. Now, the Sherman actually isolated here against the Panther Fees. Could theory to do something, but at the same time, he's also just extended with the assault guns in the south, so might be better off just to disengage from both positions by now and avoid any like, unnecessary losses. Of course, he still needs to like either grab these or destroy them because otherwise he's going to have like made a minimum impact there on uh, Prabuti compared to how much else can have an impact. Up north, the Rav Squad could get wiped out. That could be another one. Prabuti in the first armored can have it secure that. We got the Panthers. They're moving in with the MG34. They're Vetsuji too. They're faced in Fatherland. And there we go. The Rav Squad gets cut down. That's another one. Prabuti here. We got another Sherman out for Prabuti. That's two Shermans now and a Greyhound backed up anti tank guns. Mine's being laid down there by Havoc. Very good. He's 250 half for God and all, all the way up in the northwest corner. German Scrams lining up. Troops enforcing healing. Shoot to Minas Fine Field take down. Heading for that southern victory point again, grab the machine gun. Yeah, no, I argue there by Havoc. They're leaving it about for Prabuti to get his hands on. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. So what will it be next? Will it be a flak 36? That could also be an option here, though. Admittedly, Taranto Coastline is not exactly a great flak 36 map, but it could maybe make it work in the right position. Maybe. Of course, just going for more Panther Thieves honestly makes a lot of sense here. We could also try for the Stukasa Fuss. And looks like... Rabuti is going to make a push here for Havoc's base. Oh, dear. It's a bit risky in some regards because he's going to leave his flank exposed. He like There's not really a lot covering it. He does have some mines down. That's really it. So, he's going for the base. He's going for the base. He's attacking... Havoc's base here, two Shermans and Greyhound backed up and to tank guns. Havoc's armor, though, it's all the way up here. Could launch up a flank here. Of course, there are mines we're concerned about. Unless he pops 
Panzerstorm, which does allow his tank to ignore engine damage and such. But he doesn't go for it. Grand raising the base. We've got a command tank out for Havoc. The Felix Panzer come fucking for here. Greyhound's about to get knocked out. He got it. Panther Fleet's diving up. Oh, the 2-5th chapter diving up behind it. The support weapons. Panther Fleet's at North here. Caught here by the anti-tank of the Shermans. But the Greyhound is down. Assault gun is ace love hit the mine. The assault. Oh, the 2-5th device is up behind the assault anti-tank guns here. And now the Panther Fleet's attack here. Prabuti's armor is caught in a wedge here. Sandwich. Sort of. Really weak bottom of the sandwich. Well, the top layer of the sandwich is like, you know, five meters thick farmer's bread. Compared with the sun half, it, the bottom half, it just does like, you know, wafer thin. But somehow it works out without crushing the sandwich entirely. And he's lost one entertainment crew. One Sherman is down here. Havoc goes for the kill with the Panther Feast. He pops rapid fire. And I could be able to take out the Sherman easily. Anti tank crew is about to get to the party here. Oh, dear. Panda Free Sherman down, but the losses are intense. Tanks are wreck being wrecked left and right. And there go another anti tank crew exterminated. Prabudi has no tanks left. Havoc has two. One of them is an ace Panda Free with six vehicle kills. Most of which are Greyhound and Geek kills, but you know, some of them are tank kills too. You got six vehicle kills. Yeah, yeah, yeah just uh, don't uh, talk about what kind of kills. What kind of kills? Soft skinned American vehicle kills? Yeah, well, you can still get a nice medal for that. Don't you worry. He gives the Waffen SS medals for less, anyways. Just as they can feel good about themselves. Raft squad there being a party for the Sultans. He's crewing one of the tanks under fire here from Prabhuji's Raffenmen and Sherman. Decrewed already. Command tank just flying away. They're obviously not going to have much of a chance against Sherman head on, but can't fall away the infantry. Meanwhile, further up north, he finally put the north field. Continues to arrive. Squad about to get wiped out. There's going to be another wipe on Prabuti on top of losing, at least briefly, his entire armored force and his anti tank guns. Good God, Prabuti is just getting pummeled here. Ambulance bar is still somehow alive. And he's firing high explosive shells here, which does nothing against the Panda 4. And three pulling forward to get actually again try and pop for rapid fire here. Sherming push back here. Panda 3 gets some good side armor hits here. Engineers making run here for the anti tank and right in front of the command tank and the Panda 3. The results are as predictable as they are bloody as the anti tank crew, they of course get ripped apart. And yeah, there you go, they're ripped apart. And there you go. Why again there is another anti-tank crew just left piled up in front of the anti-tank in there like a warning to anyone else. Not to grab this one while under fire from German tanks. Right from pulling forwards here. Are they gonna make an attempt as well here? No, they're gonna pop an anti-tank grenade on the command tank here. Machine crew there being slaughtered by the Panzer Free model L here, the ace of Taranto. Round squad's about to get wiped out, grenades off here. Machine gun, some are surviving, we got 19 kills there, smoke deployed. Fresh anti-tank guns out for Prabhuti, north side is open, you have to have it to sneak in too. Or oh, Prabhuti for to do vice versa the other way. Mortify there, we got the anti-tank being hauled off here though, bye. Havoc's beleaguered assault grenadiers. We have command points awaiting assignment. Phew, talk about hectic. German 40 up right into the command tank and then now the two anti-tank guns and the Panzer Free, which is still there while being repaired here. Sherman taking an absolute face full of armor piercing shells and accidentally switched up. Cling out the anti-tank which allows us to get away. The last shell bounces. But Booty is taking some insane risks here versus Havoc's gun line. To start his charging into instead of trying to flank around it. And the Hellcat charges in here trying to get a kill here. Prabhuti keeps pressing his luck here. But this time he pressed it too hard and his luck died in his hands. Hands are being ripped apart here. Sherman close 32 here. 
Anto Tang has been brought back to the base of Punch. He's got wiped out. He command tank veterancy too. Riveman being just annihilated. Both tanks heavily damaged. Havoc though charging force of run and threatening to the north side here where there's just absolutely no resistance. I feel like Havoc here might be tunneling this unit a bit, though admittedly so is Prabhuti. There you go, Panda 3 being fixed up, Panda 4 being fixed up. But yeah, we're smart. I think he switched northwards here, try and gain as much here, and try and draw Prabhuti's tanks into kills and up there, just swarming them with the tanks there for better angles. But there you go. Prabhuti's front line here starts weaken a bit and Havoc charges through it. Like a bull through a salad bard. Bar, not bard. I'm not playing some kind of weird vegetarian Dungeons and Dragons game here. So a bit of quiet here, more entertaining being hold forts here for Prabhuti in the first armor division as he's trying to explain to Patton why he keeps needing them and why the Germans suddenly has some anti-tank guns that look suspiciously a lot like American anti-tank guns. Well you see the Germans have been spying on us sir and have clearly decided that American technology is superior to German- no, yeah yeah no they're still yeah. I shouldn't have tried lying about that one sorry sir sorry. Panther 3 they're good to go. Hand of four as well. Enforcing healing. Those assault guns are definitely doing some heavy lifting here for Havoc. Certainly highlighting that they are quite good, I think. It certainly gets a bit overlooked by some players, but you know, they are pretty good. Oh well, but yeah, I definitely feel like you should poke folks more northwards. We can see that in fact Prabhuti is patching his captain northwards here in a lone nation. Sitting up the south side here with his remaining Panzer Gun leader squad here. Panther Fleet Command Tank. Reaching up once more across the small ridge there. Right there being absolutely decimated there. Slaughtered. The South Sherman actually to the gun for the punch was there. More Shermans though for Prabhuti versus Havoc. Command tank panting northwards and south there. Punch was the engineers. The engineers definitely a bit outgunned here. The punch gun leaders are. Moments away from Vetchin 3 and the Ace Lone. Machine gun being met with a face full of high explosives and machine gun fire. And the assaults are predictable and very terminal. And we got strafing run called in. He'll loiter, unleashing the might of the Luffa upon the Americans here. Havoc goes in for Safas and the command tank leading the charge. The Panther only back for repairs here. Anti tank and crews being, well, cut down. By the Germans. But we got the Shams the here keeping Havoc from making much more progress. And it's the Salt and Leader Squad gets exterminated East level out there. Brutal. Prabhuti not missing a beat here to just unleash high explosive shells into the ranks of the German attackers. And a machine gun crew gets wiped. So we got the end tanks there exposed. And the Shams could clear that with high explosive shells here. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Prabhuti putting those high explosive shells to good use for the most part, except when he's using them against German tanks. There go once more explosives his flanks here to Havoc's tanks. And another Sherman gets riddled here. We could see another Sherman go down to the Panther Fleece. Do we get focus fire? We do not. Sherman there racing around here. Anti-tank ring on the Panther Sophie. Ah, the, just, the amount of carnage over these small fields in the south is immense, but so intense. Fresh Panzer Fleet arrives here to support the 90th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. And right from there, crewing the anti tank on the heavy fire, the Panzer Fleet there, right into Prabhuti's gun line, and the results are incredibly unsatisfying for the Panzer Fleet crew as it is about to get knocked out in a matter of seconds. With that, he lost his Panzer Fleet without doing anything. Bad call here by Havoc. Anti tank guns, though, on the receiving end once more of the German Panzer Waffe. <laughs> Northside completely forgotten here though. Actually, 75 points left though for Prabhuti versus Havoc. He needs to do something about this soon. 73. Wrecking these anti-tank guns I think is a very smart move here. Down it goes. Needs infantry, needs armor and 
He needs to, I think, switch towards the north here. You should also either grab the machine and destroy it. More tea in front of the command tank. The assault's obviously not going to be pretty here. Don't hit it for the front line of the Panzerkampfwagen fear. Wrecking all the anti-tankers now. Got another mechanized assault group here. We got the cap popping in here. You can easily breach the building as one advantage the assault guns have on all over breach infantry is they had to do it for free. I guess it just means they really enjoy it. Ah, oh, you once had building breach and anyone inside there? Yeah, we'll do it for free. We like it so much. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. Why do you ask? Great shot there for the Sherman from time with the M1 Enter Tank and here Ralph Squad was the Panzer gonna his ace level, combined arms, MG34, veteran school leader, the whole shebang there, and the riflemen are definitely not gonna make their way through that. Panther Fee there just still repairing. Pretty just done some damage to that north side here. Cat and push back, half track rushing for northern victory point. Very good here. And right now, Havoc's got like plenty of fuel, he just needs the manpower to do anything with it. Sherman's there being fixed up. I mean, theoretically, you could, like, try and go for the mechanized company and try and pull for something big. I mean, you know, perhaps not a Tiger tank, but, you know, maybe just something as simple as, like, you know, a Panzer IV with a longer gun or double the Stu Gs. I mean, that could actually provide, right now, I think, with a pretty solid base of fire versus Prabuti. There's up north here. So suddenly he's going to get the triple cap there against Prabuti. Come on, turn the thing fixed up. Sherman's playing up. This is actually a big mistake here by Prabhuta. Like he's sending in a Sherman unsupported by neither other tanks or his anti-tank guns. If Havoc is sharp, he's going to race up for that Sherman right now. I said he's going to race after that Sherman. Apparently he does do that. Okay. Bit on the other side, I'd say here by Havoc. Because again, an isolated Sherman like that is a excellent target to just swarm and this i think is sort of stage where these really i think play smart here with his tanks because right now havoc's advantage is more speed than anything else here over the shermans backed up by entertainment which definitely trade in both firepower and durability so he's gonna have to like you know rely on the maneuverability of his tanks and they mean like case just get off a lot of fire here with a rapid fire ability though so far he's yet to use it he seems more intent on like just trying to slug it out here with Prabuti, which does occasionally work out, but relies, of course, mostly on Prabuti leaving his flanks up near to Havoc. Comes the ripped apart here, forced back. Havoc, or oh, Prabuti, quick to reclaim north here from Havoc. Another Pantafee there for Havoc and the German Panzerwaffe. North here, pushing forward. We've got the Ace of back up with the half tech here. Cat and they definitely not favored in this engagement. Not one bit. Jump sitting out here. MD fed for run to the Panther and the command tank here. And that's a wipe. Definitely a bit of a slip up there by Prabuti. And so this match is starting to run a bit long, so I can't fault uh, Prabuti for feeling perhaps just a wee bit exhausted. Nothing further on the base here, no sign of additional tanks or tank destroyers. Oh! What is this? We actually get an easy aid out here for Prabuti now. Bring up the bigger tanks, which does have more health. Not more armor, but more health. Better speed and, of course, better hand to performance alongside better penetration. And crucially, it has the eight fat rounds, which also does more damage. So, like, a well handled easy aid can be quite devastating. Damn it, engine the half to come north. He still has this organ on side. But, uh, yeah, versus Vessi through Rifle with so low health there. It's going to be a bit tough here. South side, the engineers pushing forwards into their assault gunners and the Panzer gunners, Shermans, anti tanks the move here, E8 rushing in. And Havoc, their bully rushes forwards to meet them head on when he probably really shouldn't be doing that at this point. This is definitely, I think, not engaged here that Havoc is particularly favoured to win head on here. And there you go, Panzer Fee there, it's getting absolutely pumped here by intense anti tank fire here from. Prabuti's just unleashes a full broadside here, a full fusillade on Havoc. Going for another base push here, but the looks of it, meanwhile, Havoc pulling back his armors, entering towards the base here. As Prabuti lumbers forwards here. Ready to unleash the armored fist of democracy right into the face of Havoc. 
and the German Third Reich. There we go, straight on engagement here. Somehow it's working out for Papu, he's not immediately getting everything annihilated, but he, oh, Hanag, I mean. It's Panther Thief, someone survives for the next no health here. Panther's got to go out dark here. Oh god, he's gonna lose the Panther gun, it is. The ace Panther gun is a dead, kaput, taut. His Panzer nest here is these types of machine gun bunkers were known is almost wrecked. And Prabhuti falls back rather than keep up the assault here. Interesting choice, honestly. I guess his word he could, like, you know, get thanked by something and then you lose a lot again. Perhaps back flashbacks from that previous push he made on his opponent's face sort of sort of re hit him. Like a wet codfish through the window. North MD 34, the vessel Rafa squad. Sherman setting out. And machine crew, of course, hastily sent packing by the Shermans. Panther V is good to go. Command tank joining in as well here again. Havoc has plenty of fuel, but the issue remains manpower part because again, insists on these meat grinder attrition action here rather than trying to just fight smarter and that way, you know, build up more manpower for like, you know, more tanks or bigger tanks. Right here, so what with the Shermans. That said again, here, once more, put a booty splits up his tanks from his main anti tank guns and for that matter, the EC8. So, Right now, there's a definite chance here that Havoc could inflict armored loss in Prabhuti Shermans, who are now one of them by half health, isolated and unsupported. In particular, these Vecchi Fleet Panther Fleets could do a lot of damage. There you go, we got Panther Storm here. Havoc now going for the kill here. He smells blood in the water. Like a pit bull in a swimming pool. He goes straight for the Shermans. Sherman down, Sherman down. Straight for the other Sherman here. Down to almost half health. EC8 there. He's pushing into the base. He needs to be careful that he doesn't get caught up with the anti tank on lines. But there you go. A great push here. Leaving Prabhuta with just two tanks. And of course, in this case, leveraging his speed mobility over the more ponderous Sherman tanks. Which actually weren't that mobile. In particular, the Sherman tanks struggle a fair bit with more uneven terrain compared to German tanks. Particularly the more late war one with the uh, double wheel, uh, into we, you know that bit with the double wheels there. Can't quite remember the term right now. But that gave them a fair amount of mobility of like you know more rough terrain. Nisi push for the base, Panzer Nesta kaput. Prabuti almost lashing out here, just charging into his opponent's base like some really irate customer demanding to speak with the manager. Just kicking up a fuss and, you know, knocking over things. Another attempt to pass work to flank up behind Prabhuti and Rekis and tanks, tanks here, but once more the threat here on the anti-victory point he does force Havoc's hand in, falling back a bit here. Another Panzer Fleet ready, another push on the base! This match, good god! The action is just... And the tension for that match is just impressive. Panther Thief engaged the Sherman. Oh no! Havoc is getting a bit of luck here as Prabhuti accidentally pops the high explosive shells on his EC8. Imagine if they'd done that in the Fury movie accidentally. Sir, Brad, we, we accidentally loaded high explosive shells for the next half a minute. We can't take out the tiger. That'd be a pretty unimpressive end to the movie. Panther Thief, let me push back here. Modifier still in action. Havoc, I think, missed some opportunity to maybe clash in there. But again, I think if he's smartly just trying to, like, draw up the tanks from the anti tank guns, he might have a shot here. Up north, the assault about to get wiped out, too. EC8, diversity, too, here. Assault gun is just being slaughtered like lambs. We got 70 versus 65 here. Three Panther Thieves and a command tank here for Havoc. Prabhuti holds the southern victory point, but he can't hold it forever. 
And as soon as he moves north, it's what Prabhu Havoc could then do. Rash for the southern victory point here and get a triple cap going. If Prabhu he makes a mistake committing everything here, or he could be betting that Havoc will respond with everything he has to Prabhu source. He will take the challenge instead of like you know staying clear of it and just focus on the victory points. We'll have to see. But there you go. Chang's moving north. It's backed up at 300 seconds here, and Sonya's been met here by the Panthers. Calling an entertainment crew here, but the Southern Victory Point is not left unguarded. Tanks falling back in the face of the lumbering force here of Prabhuti. 70 versus 48 here. Third Panther for John. Panther for joining in. Panther Puny is about to get wiped out here. Buying at the Panther Fleet, but he's going to be running to the gun line here of Prabhuti. Not a great engagement here for Havoc. He's rushing up the anti tank and from behind. I think it's too much to handle here for Havoc. Mistakes are creeping up now at a much more aggressive pace here. Anti-tank gun there, wrecked the crew, murdered, leaving an anti-tank gun for Prabhuti Tank against Havoc. Panther Fees are falling back here, the engagement is going absolutely as pear-shaped as possible here for Havoc. And now the other victim is grabs, he's missed up to grab the other victim point to get a triple cap going very briefly against Prabhuti, maybe missed with his advance here. He's sending troops I think out for the southern point, but by now the Shermans and the anti-tank is just inexorably Forcing away Havoc here, wrecking his forces here, annihilating him. Machine crew, they're slaughtered. Prabhuti now has four Sherman tanks, three regulars, and an EC8 here. And Havoc's Panzer Fees are heavily damaged, bleeding, limping. Getting the Shermans a bit here, but there's just too many guns that are being aimed at them here. One Panzer Fee down, that was the ace Panzer Fee there. Up in flames. Another Panther Fee there, cooked up like a Christmas goose in summer. And the third Panther Fee is down to him just for the Ace Command Tank. Well, for this though, I think it is very much GG for Havoc. He is absolutely outgunned on every conceivable level here. With, I think, no realistic chance for comeback here versus Prabhuti. Ace is holding forts here and routed. He's even been quick to grab the pack 38 to turn against uh, Havoc there as well. So, I mean, at this point, nothing short of divine intervention or profane intervention, I think, has a chance here of bailing out Havoc. Like, Prabhuti's got this. And there you go. Well played. GG. Game over. Hell of a match here, an absolute stellar 1v1 one one here in Toronto coastline between two absolutely amazing 1v1 one one players here. Some great action, some great tank battles here, which you just, I mean, you really would never get some play this in coming. So this is absolutely one of the reasons I absolutely can never go back to coming soon, no matter what happened. Like just tank battles in coming for you are absolutely out of this world compared to companies too. But just great battle for the action end though. Havoc, I feel like just failed to leverage his strength, which again was the mobility of his tanks. Whereas Prabhuti just leveraged the advantage of his tanks, which is they're just like, you know, meatier and, you know, chunkier can basically sort of slug it out better. Patch it back up the end of tank and see he also makes sure Mitch uses artillery as Havoc kind of lacked artillery. So there were some issues there as the match went on and Havoc, I think, just didn't quite leverage his advantage as well as he could. Whereas Prabhuti knew what his advantages were and he made full use of them. But there you go, an absolutely top notch match here. So I hope you enjoyed this match. I did casting. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment. You can also consider supporting the Formula Cast by donating a page, PayPal or Patreon Patreon. This is Imperial Dings signing off for now and see you all tomorrow for a nice episode. Cheers, everyone.